Okay, I probably should have got that a little better before I started this. This is the Star Sense Explorer XD130 with Celestron. I want to say it's X cell or C cell. I don't know. Doesn't matter. I'll correct myself in the description or whatever. My phone is doing a funky thing. I've actually never done this before. And, uh, I'm going to pause the video and see if I can't get this any better. Okay, so that's a lot better, but um, still doesn't do the eyepiece justice at all. This is zero zoom, by the way. This is just the eyepiece doing eyepiece stuff. Uh, me centering my phone in the eyepiece perfectly makes a huge deal with this setup I have going on right here. But, um, that's a really good shot. Okay, I'm gonna try zooming in now. Jeez, that's only 5.2. Earlier we were able to go up to 10 and still see pretty good. Seven was really good. So, we're just gonna let that play through. Hmm. Okay, that's sweet. <clears throat> uh, this is the, still the Celestron Explorer XD, one, or 130 XD. I think I got it for 3.99 or something. I don't remember. And I'm using a Celestron wide angle five millimeter eyepiece. 40 degree wide angle. I think I have to adjust the telescope again. Every, so I should probably note, note, while well, using a cell phone anyway. I don't think it's the same. Looking through, you have to adjust the adjustment wheel by the eyepiece every Five, ten minutes or so to get a nice crisp image. There are those three, sp whatever, asteroids. Does the moon still make mountains? I don't know. Oh, no filter this time. I'm just letting my phone do it. I don't recommend that using a really strong eyepiece like this because it is bright like even stars are bright I look at those with no filter but the moon no way it's way too bright even the 10 millimeter gets pretty dang bright 
but this is a five millimeter wide angle so it's like a five millimeter cheater uh, the eyepiece looks a hundred times better than this but you're not going to get that close, this close, because I'm at 5.2 zoom. But that does a decent job at showing off the eyepiece. Dang it, we're going into a tree. Hold on. Subscribers like flies. There we go. Okay. Excuse me, by the way. If you guys heard that. It looks way better through the eyepiece, but, um, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, it's focused in pretty good. We're at zero or one X zoom right now. I don't know if this one can go to zero point. No. Over to ten. Can my phone do it? I tapped it to autofocus. If we go to the tip of the moon, or what we can see of it, it's usually easier to see because it's a little darker. Dang, that's 10x on my phone. Wow. I mean, I know it's kind of blurry, but I mean, that's pretty sweet. You know. I think I have to adjust it once it gets down to the darker spot. Let's see if I can do this in time. I'm trying to locate the knob. I guess that helps a little bit. We're gonna try that again. I'm just gonna go to a spot, let it roll. Oh. I'm gonna adjust the focuser knob once we get closer to the darkness. Reverse, reverse. Okay. 
Mm. I don't know if that's any better. We'll just go up a little bit. Man, I'm sorry if that makes anybody dizzy. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, it was worth it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Alright, we're gonna go up and let it roll one more time through somewhere else on the moon, and then... I'm probably gonna go take a shower. Isn't that good? Alright. Cutting it up. <laughs>